Another set of biomes that's very interesting is going to be in between the salt water and the fresh water. And this is going to happen when, in the environment, the uh, sea sometimes, during the high tide, invades the land where a river is, is hitting it. That area in between where the river and the fresh water and the salt water of the ocean mix in is called an estuary. You see other examples over here. Now, all of these are estuaries. Now, they may look like uh, lakes sometimes, but they're not, actually. Their water is moving very slowly, and during the day, the tide will come in and come out of this, so that sometimes the, the, the salinity will vary a lot in these places. But, and there will be a lot of specialized plants, and we talked about the juncus, for example, which will help maintain the salinity of the water a little bit down, and it will help slow down the water so the nutrients don't kind of like just run away. But these are very, very rich ecosystems on the Earth. Now, there's two main types of estuaries. Uh, in tropical areas where there's a lot of sunlight and a lot of nutrients, uh, they get to grow trees and mangroves, these kinds of trees over here with big roots, and very specialized roots to handle the salty situation actually dominate the, these kinds of estuaries. And then those kinds of estuaries, or those kinds of estuaries, are called marshes, salt marshes. And they're basically uh, more grassland-like and are more common in temperate areas where there's less nutrients and less amount of sunlight and temperature as well. But these are both estuaries, which are aquatic ecosystems where there's a, a mixture of, of salt water and the plants and animals living in that environment have to be able to adapt to that. And later in the year, we might talk about some of the adaptations that are peculiar to organisms that live in these kinds of environments.